Michael Jordan is a legend in basketball, so it goes without saying that he has made some good money from all. Where all that money goes, we can't be for sure, but a source has been shown to the public in his buying of yachts, including today's topic of Michael Jordan's $80 million yacht. Size and Design this yacht is named Joy, and it certainly provides that in droves to anyone who might own or charter it. It sits at an extremely large 229 feet, or 70 meters long, and contains five separate decks. This dwarfs almost every other luxury yacht in any harbor in the world, and it's even fairly younger than other yachts seen out there, as it's only been built in 2016 in the feed ship, Royal Van Lent of the Netherlands. It was originally, however, by Brandenburg and Rowell Design and Studio Indigo. Brandenburg and Rowell Designs were for the outer layers and decks and Studio Indigo for the interior design. And while it's so big, it can also go pretty fast. It has a cruising speed of 12 knots and a maximum of 16 knots. This almost matches the fastest yachts out there that can reach the highest speeds of up to 20 knots. And even while docked, you don't have to worry as the ship contains zero speed stabilizers to reduce any rolling motion while at anchor. All that speed and smoothness, though, makes taking a cruise vacation from one dream destination to another take no time at all. And with all of Jordan's retirement to look forward to, this ship is a perfect place to spend time. And he won't be alone as a ship can carry many parties of guests. Aboard, there are seven guest cabins, two VIP staterooms, four double cabins, and a singular twin cabin that can accommodate up to 12 separate guests, as well as a huge master suite where Jordan can kick back and relax alongside his wife. From inside the suite, Jordan can even enjoy the sea with a 270-degree view from the suite's glass windows. And it doesn't end there, as the master suite is connected to the full owner's pavilion that holds not only the bedroom, but also a private office and lounge area. And even more, people will be on board with 19 carefully selected and hand-picked crew members that are there to take care of him and his guests every whim and desire. This doesn't also account for the trainers and water personnel that may be aboard for the leisure activities that Jordan and his guests can enjoy while on the Joy. The last of the interesting design specifications is the versatility of this ship. A good example of this is simply in its windows to the seas outside their rooms. You see, in the winter or colder weather, the ship can be chosen to close the entire aft decks off with windows of more glass. And this also helps to match the rest of the ship, but can be changed back with just a push of a button. And speaking of amenities, the amenities of the Joy are vast and glorious. Jordan and his guests can enjoy the fancier things in life with a full bar and dining room and some fun downtime activities with the onboard basketball court. Though the list doesn't end there. The full list of key amenities on the ship includes a full gym with all stocked equipment and previously mentioned fitness trainer, a deck jacuzzi with a wet bar, a sun deck barbecue, and a pool with built-in water slide, a spa room with an onboard masseuse and attached sauna, a large encased trampoline, and a deck forward that can host other large sports games like badminton, soccer, or boxing. 
Would you, would you, would you, like, would you tell him everything is fine? Oh. Okay, we've kissed and made up. <laughs> then, there's the thing that separates Joy from other luxury yachts of this caliber. And that is what you'll find when you go up the elevator to the upper decks. Here, you'll find a private dance club called a beach club. And at the beach club, any kind of entertainment can be performed. Though, a favorite type is when the lights are changed into disco lighting, giving a full club vibe to any of the guests aboard. If everything on the ship isn't enough for Jordan or his friends, maybe he can move off the boat while still in the middle of the ocean. This could be done through the multiple toys and tender on board. The Joy has an accessible base from the deck jacuzzi, where many smaller boats and water vehicles that can be ridden or driven are docked. These toys include a jet surf, two standing jet skis, a wakeboard, four kayaks, six stand-up paddle boards, four sea bobs, and multiple sets of snorkeling gear. And if you don't know how to work any of the off-water toys, they do have an onboard teacher in the RYA Training Center for jet skis and wave runners. There's also a set of toys that are known to be a favorite hobby of Jordan, and that's fishing. There are multiple sets of fishing gear with live bait almost anyone can take out in one of the smaller boats and even from the edge of the joy. And if we're talking edges, there is a fun little fact that Jordan can take off if he ever uses this yacht to travel to a certain place of the world. And that place is the south of France, specifically. And with this ship, you get a further deal on land in only a specific location. While in that location in the south of France, you may use the Joy Rolls Royce for free during your yacht stay by having the Joy Yacht. And we're not sure whether this will say an opportunity for the rest of the yacht trip, or if this deal will eventually reach the rest of the world and not just the south of France. Maybe one day, we'll see Joy Rolls Royces coming out of every harbor from Joy looking like yachts. Until then, we can only dream. Unless you're Jordan or a member of his friend's circle, then you can take a day trip around southern France in an exceedingly luxurious car that always comes back to a similarly luxurious yacht. Ownership Though, unfortunately, Jordan himself has never admitted to owning the boat properly, and much like another video from us of Jeff Bezos' yacht, the Flying Fox, the rumors are what makes this ship's owner who it is. However, unlike Amazon and Bezos, Michael has never publicly denied the claims either. He simply doesn't comment, even if he is linked to it. Michael simply seems to have better things to do than explain what he may or may not have bought for himself. Maybe one day, he'll tell everyone that he owned it. Or maybe he'll just continue to stay silent. The world may never know. <laughs> so what do you think? Would you want to ride on this yacht? Let us know down in the comments. Be sure to subscribe and ring that bell for more content like this. And we'll see you next time.